Brown versus the Board of Education, 1954, happened 60 years later after the Plessy versus Ferguson case. A seven-year-old girl named Linda Brown from Topeka, Kansas, was forced to go to an all-black school, even though she lived right near an all-white school. Her name was chosen for the case because her case wasn't from the South, but from the Midwest. The court wanted to prove that this isn't just a problem in the South. So then the Supreme Court voted unanimously that segregating schools based on race is wrong. And it also violated the 14th Amendment, which states, equal protection under the law. In the opinion, and if you don't know what an opinion is, it is the Supreme Court rights to explain their decision. Chief Justice Earl Warren wrote, the precedent of separate but equal established by the Plessy versus Ferguson had no place in public education that simply separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. This overturned Plessy versus Ferguson, opening an entryway to challenge isolation all through the United States.